A garden is the truest metaphor for what Osamu Noguchi wanted sculpture to be. He viewed the museum's garden as an index of concepts drawn from many others. It is an archetypal example of what he called a somewhat Japanese garden. The oddest stone in a Japanese garden is that of placement. Its ideal does not deviate from that of nature, except in providing a heightened appreciation. Any man-made divergence is carefully hidden, as by the intercession of time and age, nature's accidents and residue. But I am also a sculptor of the West. I place my mark and do not hide. The cross currents eddy around me. Noguchi selected all of the plantings, each of which is native to Japan, the United States, or both. When he planted the Katsura tree, whose canopy now dominates the garden, it was a sapling barely five feet tall. The range of trees, shrubs, and vines creates an environment meant to change with the seasons. It is apparent that stone lives outdoors, especially the hard stones, real stones such as granite and basalt. Their weathering seems to coincide better with our own sense of historical time than does the aging of marble, bronze, or steel, where there is decomposition that is not an added grace. There is a time passage to stone not unlike our own. A mellowing takes place that would not otherwise be possible. Time stops not by contest, but by becoming a part. <laughs> 